I know it's something simple, but I just love celebrating this season. And I just um, want to encourage you that if this season brings sorrow to you, that if there are memories or events that have happened during this time, I just want to know that my heart goes out to you and that I really want to pray for you to be able to connect with Jesus in this season, but also through the whole year. So I just want to pray for you right now, okay? Maybe you're not even here. It might be hard for you to even go to church on a Christmas, in the Christmas season. So if you know someone that Christmas is a hard time for them, just remember them in your hearts and even how the Lord leads you to be able to reach out to them. But let's just pray for that right now. Jesus, we thank you for the joy of your gift. Thank you for the joy. And Lord, I pray that where the joy has been stifled, God, I pray that you would just come in with your love and you would melt away those hard things that have been built up because of memories or because of things that happened. God, I thank you that in you is goodness and in you is life. And no matter what has happened, Jesus, we want to connect to you for your joy, for you, for who you are. And so right now, I just agree with the name that you call yourself, the Prince of Peace the prince, the ruler of peace, that you would release your peace into hearts in this room, anyone watching, and those that we know, God, where this is a hard season for them. I pray, Lord, that you would just release your peace and that you would reign. You would reign, Jesus. Thank you, God. And right now, I just want to speak out a prophetic word, which means something that God's saying, that I just want to bless family relationships to be rectified this season. And so if there is someone in your life that you aren't close to and that this, again, is a hard season for you, I just see God mending those relationships. And so if that's something that's in your life, you can just agree with that by saying, yes, thank you, God, or amen to that, or whatever you want to say to that. I just see God um, creating, um, like I saw, like a, a blanket that got ripped apart and there's threads that are hanging and I see him just mending it together. And just like in our bodies when we have a wound and a scar is created, it's even stronger, that spot in our skin, than before. I just see that those relationships are being knit even tighter than before. So I just bless that if that's something that um, means something to you. And again, just agree with that. Just say thank you, God, for that. And that's for you. Thank you, God. Thank you for good things today. Ah, oh, yay. All right, I'm going to go through some announcements, and um, then I get to share my heart with you today, so I'm excited about that. Yay. Okay, so um, you probably noticed we didn't have as many childlike dancers up on the stage this morning. Um, Destiny Kids, that's our kids program up through about age 12, is going to start going um, back right away um, at the beginning of service and have their own worship time. And so if you know any families um, that didn't hear that or that are, you're bringing, they can just bring their kids over there right away. And then the fifth Sunday of the month, then we'll have them all together and we'll get to worship together. So that'll be fun. Um, for the nursery, that'll be after worship. So you're welcome to take her with Rachel if you'd like. And anyone else, if you know babies that are coming, you can tell them that. We love kids. Kids are awesome. Okay. <clears throat> All right, and then um, for this Christmas season, we're going to partner with Urban Key. Here's um, Shelly right here, if you want to wave your hand, Shelly. And is there any other Urban Key residents here? I don't know. Okay. Um, we're going to partner with Urban Key, which is a home that's in downtown Harrisburg. Um, these people have chosen to live there and to bless the neighborhood. And we're going to bless one of the families that lives next to them. And they are a family with mom, dad, four kids. And so what um, we have in the back table right there are some cards that you can take for something to give to them um, to bless them. They're all listed out there. Um, we really want to give each of the kids a gift, like a toy or something like that, um, a hat, glove, and mittens um, thing and then a winter outfit. They really need winter clothes. So we have those listed out. And then we just want to give food items for them to have a Christmas meal together. So all of that's there. It's really simple. Just look at it. I'm sure there's something that you can take. There's like two cans of corn or something. Like if you could just take that and then please bring it back by next Sunday. If for some reason you're not going to be here next Sunday, just let us know and we can connect with you to get that. And then we'll give that to Shelly and she'll get to deliver that to the family before Christmas. So again, please see that back there. And whatever card you take, there's a corresponding number on your card on a list. And if you could just write your name and your email address um, and which one that you took, that would be wonderful. Thank you. 
And then you'll notice there's another sign-up sheet there. Alex White, who's in the sound booth, if you want to wave your hand. Yay, Alex. Alex and Kristen just had their little baby boy, little Gabe, to join Jack. Yay. Um, So we want to bless them with some more meals. It is challenging to eat, much less make food, much less make healthy food. Do you want healthy food? Eh, Okay, it doesn't have to be healthy. Whatever you can do, um, we just have some more days that are available this week if you want to bless them with a meal. And so you can just um, see that sheet back there. That would be wonderful. We want to bless them. And then next week after church, we're going to watch the movie White Christmas. Woo, yes. One of my favorites. I couldn't wait. I had to watch it. I watched it Friday night, I think, with Zoe, my daughter, who's six. She had lots of questions. There's a lot of things that are... Um, questionable in that movie. Not bad, but just like, why are they dressed so fancy? And why are they singing? And why are they outside dancing? Why is she dancing with a boy? All those questions that a six-year-old came up with, but I was happy to answer them because I love that movie. So next week, we're going to have service until about 11, and then we'll start watching the movie right here, and we'll have popcorn and snacks. So feel free to invite people to come and just join together for that. Um, I, mm, okay, I'm not going to say that. Never mind. Okay, um, today we're going to have um, a hangout time after service. So after um, 1130, we have some food and stuff. So please feel free to stay and just spend some time together as a church family. If you didn't bring anything, no problem. You, you're welcome to stay Anyway, okay, and then during the week we have some things called connection groups, which is where people can get together outside of church and just connect with each other. So Thursday nights we have a house church style, which is kind of like an organic, let's get together and just um, meet with God together kind of group. So that's on Thursday nights, and that's with DJ and Casey. They're with the kids right now, but that's um, going on Thursday nights. Friday nights we have revival prayer group, which is with Amy, if you want to wave your hand. There's Amy, and um, so they're just praying for God to just come with even more of his presence for this city and this area, Um, so that's on Friday nights, and then starting January 7th, which is a Wednesday, yes, we have Brad and Rosemary here, if you want to wave your hands, yay, they're going to start what we call a topical group, so they're going to study together, I guess study is the right word, right, I guess, sure, Um, hosting the presence of God, this is a book. And so if you are interested in that, um, you can see them and um, get the order together so that um, if they order all of the books together, it's cheaper, that kind of thing. So, But if for some reason you can't get the book, don't, don't let that keep you from coming. So just go ahead and see them. They live in Camp Hill, so it's not too far from here. Um, we're really excited about that. So again, that starts January 7th, the first Wednesday in the new year. And then just so you know, coming up, we're going to have a men's breakfast on a Saturday morning to be decided. So that will come soon. All right, let's do, um, are you ready, Katie? Okay, why don't you come down? Um, During worship, you probably noticed that Katie was up here painting and dancing and singing and worshiping. And so um, we love to see God express himself through creativity in the way of art and other things. And so um, we also like to present it to someone that's here. So Katie, you want to just go for it? Sorry, I I don't want to pick it up and bring it down. I know it's a little hard to see all the way up there, but it's still drying and yeah, so... Um, (laughs) Actually, I'm not done with it yet, but I have to let it dry first. So um, I feel like (laughs) this painting is for William. And the message I got this morning for you was one of a kind. And I just felt like I was supposed to paint in the moment as opposed to painting a picture beforehand. And I painted the whole thing with my fingers, which I've never done before. So sorry, it's like not that amazing, but it's innovative. (laughs) Um, so, (laughs) um, and it's, I'm gonna, uh, I feel like I need to paint the words one of a kind over top, but I have, I want to let it dry first. So I will do that. So don't leave right away after service. (laughs) Um, and just because I think the meaning of colors is really fun and totally valid and powerful. I will tell you some of the colors in there and what they mean and they represent, uh, realities that God is giving you in your life right now that he's just making more real to you. So there's gold in there. Gold stands for the glory of God, and glory also means power. So there is more 
power from God in your heart um, and more coming to you. And there's green, which is life, and they're swirly, so um, I don't know. I think sometimes we think that life is a... Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, we put it in an idea category, but uh, life is going to become more raw for you. Uh, you're going to actually realize, oh, there's there's actually movement in life. There's actually substance to life, specifically the life of Jesus, since you're spirit-filled. And uh, white it usually represents purity, so you're already a really pure person, but more for that of that for you. And dark blue, that's for revelation. So uh, I feel like the uh, the prayer in Ephesians that Paul prayed for the Ephesians about the eyes of their heart being opened and the spirit of wisdom and revelation coming to them, just always asking God for that. Um, I feel like the spirit of wisdom and revelation is going to be uh, poured out onto you more than it has been. And you're awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. Thank you. <clears throat> Does that make sense for you, William? Yeah? All right. Well, I'm just going to pray for you and bless you with that, okay? Father, I thank you that William is one of a kind in a good way. And I pray, God, that you would just continue to reveal the meaning of that to him, God, as he puts his hands to different projects and different things that are rising up in his heart. God, I thank you that in, in your eyes, God, that he just has to be himself, that he doesn't have to be like anyone else just to be himself in you. And so I just bless that process, God. And I thank you, God, even um, just speaking to him in his dreams at night, Father, for revealing things to him. And um, William, I just saw like Solomon got the gift of wisdom in a dream. I just see him doing that for you, that he's giving you gifts for things that you really need, like not just, oh, I can smile more. Like that's a good thing. But I just see him giving you gifts that are really um, applicable to your life. So I just bless you with that. Amen. <laughs> Yay. Thanks, Dennis. Okay. All right. Let's do um, offering and attendance. We'll do attendance first. Um, Attendance, we're just, we like to know who's here, just so we can stay in touch with you. If this is your first time you're a guest with us today, um, you can flip to the back and write your information out. And we love to give um, you, uh, to connect with you during the week and just to give you a gift. Um, so if this is your first, second, or third time, please write your information there. Otherwise, you should already find your name in one of the front sheets, and you can just check off that you're here. So go ahead and you can just pass those out, and you can put, um, put those down the row and... Um, Mark that. That would be great. And then this morning, we're going to um, prepare to receive offering. And um, the gifts that we give to God in this way, um, we really want to make sure they come from the right foundation, the right heart. And so we have some things that we like to pray before we give. And so we're going to bring those up on the screen. Thank you, Alex. And so we're just going to pray through these things just to um, get our hearts lined up with um, what God has to say. And then if you um, need an envelope or anything, go ahead and just raise your hand and Word has those for you. And you are able to give using a check card or something like that. Um, we just ask you don't go in debt to give, please. And um, make sure that you fill out um, your zip code and the number on the back of your card and your email address so that we can process those. All right, so let's multitask, okay? Let's read this together. I affirm that giving you my money is a meaningful act of worship. I affirm that I give to you with a cheerful heart. I affirm that I am giving to you in obedience. I affirm that I am giving you my best and not my leftovers. I affirm that I give to you as a loved child with a good heavenly father. I affirm that I trust you to use my offering to glorify Jesus Christ. I affirm that I believe what you said in the Bible about giving and receiving. Thank you for giving me all spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. 
Thank you for freedom from a greed and poverty mentality. Thank you for the blessing of Abraham through Jesus Christ. Thank you for protection from the devourer. Thank you for creative ideas, bonuses, raises, favor, jobs, finances, and a godly work ethic. Thank you for the responsibility to steward what you have blessed me with. Thank you for abundance so I am able to give in any situation. And if you agree with that, just say amen. 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 All right. Well, ushers, if you want to start passing that, that would be great. Okay. All right. So um, today I want to... Um, touch base with you about where we were last 